okay, so today's video is going to be a monthly favorites video, which is my, of course, favorite video to record of the month. I love sharing with you guys my favorites, and I know I'm super, super late, but I had a lot going on at the end of the month, and I probably should have recorded this a little earlier, but um, I just was so busy. I had three birthdays, and I also had a baptism for Sophie, so I was super, super, like, crazy lunatic kind of status, but uh, yeah, I am going to try to get back on schedule. Um, I say that every time and I never do, but let's see if we can do it this time, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so for my first favorite this month is the Too Faced Naturalized Palette, and I absolutely love this little guy. Um, I was eyeballing the Chocolate Bar Palette, but I just felt like there's a lot of colors in there that I wouldn't really use, and I kind of wanted something a little bit more neutral, so I went for this palette. Uh, I absolutely am obsessed with it. I used it today. Uh, the colors in my crease are Nudie, Cashmere Bunny, and Sexpresso. Uh, they blend so beautifully, so I really, really have been loving this palette um, very pigmented and very good quality very blendable so really been loving this one and I love that it's magnetic because I do have long nails and they do tend to chip so the magnetic thing I'm just like crazy about okay the next thing I've been obsessed with is this elf eyebrow kit this is probably my most favorite thing of the month my gosh I went ham on this I just got it this month and you can tell how much I've used it this part broke over here but I don't use the powder anyway um, I just mostly use the wax and I just feel like it's way better than uh, my dip brow pomade just because it's easier to work with and it's better for every day I think it's super affordable and it's just really great to work with so it is what I use today on my brows okay so next I have two Revlon color stain moisture 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 stain I have London posh and Miami fever one minute they look a certain way in the tube but once you put them on your lips they kind of like change color almost like I thought this was gonna be kind of orangey but when I put it on it's like it's like a really like bright orangey red and this one kind of looks like it would be a little grandma ish but then when you put it on your lips it looks gorgeous so I really really love these they last a really long time and um, the texture is very strange when you first put it on but it just it kind of blends all together like melts onto your lips and then they last like all day then I have a blush from Japonesque and this is uh, the number 02 it says velvet touch blush I don't really know but you can get these from Ulta it reminds me a lot of like NARS blushes if you know what I'm talking about as far as like the shimmer that's in them I really love this for like an everyday like neutral blush so I really do gravitate towards this one for everyday use the quality is really there because it does last a really long time at the end of the day when all my makeup's kind of worn off uh, the blush is still standing so I really do love this blush I know they have more colors but their color selection isn't as amazing as NARS but uh, this one is definitely my favorite it's definitely a, I said definitely a lot then I actually have a NARS blush and it's the color deep throw it is a light like baby pink Ooh, I have a tissue in there what the heck? Um, and this one is gorgeous. It's got like a little bit of like shimmer in it. Well, a lot of bit of shimmer. But when you put it on your cheek, it gives you like that nice pinky, like natural flush kind of glow. And I really, really like this for maybe if I'm doing a cooler tone look, um, this is perfect for that. And I really do like it for every day as well because it isn't too heavy like some NARS blushes can be. So I've also been using a new bronzer from Makeup Forever, and this is in the shade number 40. I did get 20 at first, but then I found it was way too light, and I'm very fair, so for something to be too light for me is very strange. Um, that, like, never happens for me. So I did have to exchange it out for the number 40, uh, but this is a really great bronzer. I love that it's matte. I love the actual color of it. It just is really great for bronzing up my skin. The only thing is you do have to build and build and build, and... I don't really like that, but um, I do like the bronzers. And I love also, it's magnetic, so I don't chip my nails when I open it. So, love that. Then I also got a lip gloss from Bare Minerals Marvelous Moxie in the color Party Starter. I did mention this in my lip addict tag. I really, really love this lip gloss. It reminds me of the Buxom, just not as tingly and... Uh, the color is beautiful. It does look a little glittery and shimmery, but when you put it on, it just gives you like that perfect like orangey coral lip, and uh, it lasts a really long time. It is a little sticky, but I like the sticky kind of feeling, so what else? Then I also got the Youth Code Texture Perfector Pore Vanisher. I absolutely love this stuff. This is so much like the Professional without the price. The only difference is it doesn't smell as good as the Professional. This smells a little bit like 
like kind of like nothing where the professional smells like amazing and uh, I just really really have been using this like constantly this is the travel size one and that's why I like got it because I just wanted to try it out but yeah next I have a face powder from Maybelline New York this is the dream wonder powder in the color 25 buff beige I absolutely love this powder it's so smooth and just pigmented really buttery leaves you nice and matte after you do your foundation it just feels absolutely amazing on the skin feels like you're not even putting anything on and it does a lot I like this even better than my Neutrogena shine control which is a lot to say because um, I was like crazy about that stuff like all year up until I tried this one so I really really love the dream wonder powders they are absolutely amazing then I have the bare minerals mineral veil I don't use it on my face I use it as a pigment um, if you guys can tell it's gorgeous it's really shimmery and just oh I absolutely love this stuff for um, an eyeshadow I am wearing it as a base today I definitely use this more as a pigment um, on my eyeshadow instead of like a highlight or something like that but really beautiful and love this stuff then I have a Clinique brush on cream liner and I got the color true black and 02 if you guys can tell I've been using it like crazy this month if you are a little iffy with gel liner uh, this cream liner is really easy to work with it's one of the easiest um, products that I've ever used and I go back to it all the time this is my second one since I've tried it probably like a year ago okay so next I have the Smashbox Studio Skin 15 hour wear hydrating foundation in the color 2.1 Oh my gosh, guys, this foundation is absolutely amazing. If you are scared, uh, scared, if you are afraid of cake face, this is your type of foundation. It's very light. It is light to medium kind of coverage. It's not really like a full coverage foundation, but if you use this with a concealer, I use the Fit Me one. It looked absolutely flawless. It lasted all day and all night. I mean, literally, I will put this on in the morning and at night when I go to wash my face, it looks just as good as when I first put it on. So this foundation has literally blown me away and I don't think I will ever use a different foundation ever since I got this. So amazing but if you are looking for full coverage that's probably not your kind of foundation but for me someone who has just like problem areas like occasionally like I don't have full-on acne I have like breakouts that's the kind of foundation that I would use just saying then I have some nail polishes from Essie and I have the color Bikini Sotini and Urban Jungle as well as All-in-One Base. So the All-in-One Base is the one you put on before you put on any other nail polish. This stuff is going to make it really last long as well as white in your nails. I have seen a difference in my nail color since I started using the All-in-One Base so I really have been loving that. And this uh, nude one, I just, oh my gosh, it's the perfect cream color without looking too white. Uh, it has a little bit of color in it so uh, it is a little streaky when you first put it on but the second coat it's just perfect nice and opaque and I wore this like back to back to back so the bikini sotini one is the one I wore in my last video my get ready with me that a few people I noticed uh, really like this color and also like when I go out people do notice this color so uh, really have been loving bikini sotini it's just super super pretty and there's some gold reflex in it so it does give your nail like this shiny appeal so love this stuff oh my gosh and uh, my favorite perfume like ever in life currently is the Gucci Guilty perfume if you guys can tell it's really like luxurious looking like it's so like flashy uh, the only thing that sucks is like you can see my fingerprint sometimes but if you guys can tell I've been going in on this baby like pretty bad I normally wear the Dolce Gabbana like light blue one but I wanted to try something new because I'm like kind of bored of that perfume you know when you get used to stuff you're like eh, I want to try something new it's almost like you can't even smell it anymore because you're so used to it but this stuff is amazing it smells so like sexy it's really just great for like kind of going out but I even use it just for like every day just because it smells so good and I get compliments on this perfume all the time then I have a hair product and this is the Kenra platinum blow-dry spray advanced dry thermal protectant uh, I really really love this stuff guys this is so so amazing this is unlike any other like thermal protectant that I've ever used this stuff leaves you shiny. My hair is blonde, so I do struggle with shine sometimes. Blonde hair does absorb light more than reflect it off, so it doesn't really look as shiny. But when I use this stuff, my hair always looks shiny without looking greasy, and it does smell like coconut, so 
it smells like very summery and like beachy so i really do love this stuff it really is amazing you can get these at ulta okay so next i have the shimmer lights shampoo for blonde and silver hair um this stuff smells i'm not gonna lie it smells a little like like dated so if you guys can tell this is a purple shampoo and it does deposit a little bit of kind of like a toner feel for your hair if you do have blonde hair and it is a little brassy and you just want to cool it down instead of toning it you can use more of like a shampoo and I do like to use this instead I just leave it on for a few minutes and then I wash my hair out it adds protein and it's really good for just um, kind of toning down the brassiness for my hair so I really have been loving this and this is like my current favorite shampoo because just amazing so I live next to an outlet area um, and they recently got a new store called the body shop which I'm sure all of you guys know if you do watch YouTube videos a lot of people do love the body shop products and uh, I had never owned anything from the body shop because we didn't have one near me and my sister is like absolutely obsessed with that store so her and my dad ended up going to the store and they ended up surprising me with a set so I got um, a bunch of stuff I got the scrub I got the body butter and the shower cream and I absolutely love all of them okay so this is the body butter um if you guys can tell it's uh really creamy and just oh my god this stuff is amazing you guys it really just adds such a nice layer of moisture over like your elbows or any dry skin and even the actual like body shower cream it feels like I'm washing myself with like a moisturizer almost so this is really really moisturizing and also the body scrub is Oh my god, it smells so good. And if you guys can tell, I did dip into this a lot this month. This is really good for if you're about to go tanning or something. It's really good to exfoliate. And what I love about this scrub is that it kind of melts into your skin. Or it does melt into your skin. I don't really know. But it feels like I'm rubbing like sugar on my body. So uh, it really just kind of melts in and just turns into like a moisturizer almost so I really do love this body scrub it's amazing really amazing for those drier areas during the summer especially if you wear flip-flops uh, your feet tend to get a little bit drier in the summer so if you just scrub your feet with the body scrub it really will soften them and make them super super soft all right guys so that's it for this video I hope you guys liked my monthly favorites I'm sorry it's up so late this month but um yeah I had real life stuff going on so please forgive me I can't talk today. I'm PMSing guys so bad and I'm like so out of control. Like I cannot function. I can't function properly. It's so bad. I was like so angry before I was recording this video. I'm like how am I supposed to be happy and like talk to you guys about my favorites if I'm angry. I really am so angry. I don't know what to do. It's like literally like my hormones are like. Say goodbye. I can't. I can't even say it. Okay. All right, guys. So I love you guys so much. Um, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.